What's going on YouTube? This is what would Josh do and this video is going to show you how to install the new Play Store and kind of give you an idea what it looks at. Before we begin, I want to give a shout out to Xenomax. I was reading about this through I think Android Central. They posted screenshots of it, but I, did, I couldn't get my hands on it. They wouldn't post a download link and I couldn't find the download link anywhere. So I was kind of like, uh, what do I do? Then I saw that Zidomax posted a video today, and I will link to his video below. I'm a huge um, fan of, you know, like if I find out something through somebody else, giving them credit instead of like getting help and someone, you know, telling me about something and then not giving them credit for turning me on to something. So huge shout out to Zidomax. Check out his video as well. Uh, his might be a little more in-depth than mine, we'll see. But first of all, I'm going to open up my Play Store here, and I'm going to show you what yours probably looks like right now. So you've got your free music, apps, music books, magazines, movies, TV, and then, you know, you can check out all this stuff. And I actually utilize it every now and then. I go on here, and I'm like, okay, you know, what stuff looks interesting? What should I buy? And, you know, for $3.99... You can download a CD and then you can uh, go on your computer, install the Play Store music uh, thing, and you can click download purchase music and you can actually download the music that you paid for. So it's definitely pretty freaking sweet. And then you can put that on a CD, listen to it in your car, and you only paid $3.99 and you didn't steal anything. So, you know, I utilize that a lot. So we'll go here to settings and then we'll go to uh, the bottom where it says three. Oh, that's kind of hard to see. 31014. That's the version that's installed. I think the latest G apps as of like March something include that Play Store. Now with this, I am running CyanogenMod 10.1. Uh, it is based on Android 4.2.2. As you can see, I am on the monthly 2 version, which I will link to that in the description below. And I'll also link to the correct G apps. I have a video on how to install uh, like an older version, but it's still the same concept. Just install CN 10.1 M2, which is monthly two, meaning it's the most stable version for the month. So it's not a nightly. You're not going to have to update every single night and you're getting the most stable build possible. It says M2. So there we go. What I did was I actually went on the computer and I found Android Police's article. Well, as soon as Zedomax posted the video, I instantly Googled Play Store 4.0 to see if maybe there was a newer version or something, and Android Police posted it, a, a download link to it. So I went on there, and I created my own mirror, simply because I didn't want you guys to have to wait for a download screen. I didn't want you to have to, you know, not be able to download your phone or something. So I made a Mediafire link, and I pay for Mediafire, so it's an instant download. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Chrome to Phone, because I, I uploaded it, and then I sent myself the link using Chrome to Phone. As you can see, I clicked today, and it says, uh, I used Fox to phone, which is um, for Firefox. And you can also use Chrome to phone for Chrome. And I sent myself the link. So here it is. Let's click on it. And let's click open. And it's going to instantly start a download. Uh, and then I can wait for it to finish. I've already downloaded it. Uh, but I haven't installed it. I mean, I uninstalled it. So I'm going to install. I'm going to agree. And then... You don't have to agree unless you're on Android 4.2.2. It's just a new security precaution. And open it up. I might have to turn down my... Yeah, I'll have to turn down my exposure. There we go. I turned down my aperture and exposure or whatever. All that stuff. So you can hopefully see the place a little bit better. And the video is a little bit darker on the outside. Usually your camera does that for you. You have everything set to auto. But I don't like auto because it constantly sits there and <laughs> changes on you when you don't want it to. So here's what it looks like. You've got apps, games, uh, movies, TV, music, books, magazines. We can go to apps. And, ooh, that looks different. I actually wasn't in this part. Uh, there you go. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And you can swipe over to top free, top paid top grossing so like the newest one that's making the most money um top new paid so that's pretty cool one that hasn't been in there for like seven years and you've seen it in the top paid for three years <laughs> and then top new free uh trending categories games cool that's awesome so uh 
It's got apps for reading, play picks, recommended for you. Um, so hanging with friends, Family Feud, Chrome Beta. Uh, that's a pretty cool app. I like it. I don't have it installed because it's, I don't know, I don't use it all the time. But anyways, so let's back out and let's go to uh, movies and TV. I don't, I have not rented anything yet on movies, t- movies, t- uh, movies and TV. So I don't really, I haven't really played with it too much, but you got top selling, top, you know, new releases, top TV shows, new TV episodes, uh, for music. That's cool. Everything looks different. Top albums, top songs. That song is going to be top song forever. <laughs> They're shopping. <laughs> They're store shopping. Anyways, uh, let's back out and let's go to um, in games. Let's go to games. I think we did the apps. So Minecraft is the top paid for that. And then Plants vs. Zombies, Grand Theft Auto, uh, top free, top grossing, top new paid, uh, top new free. So yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely changed a lot. It's got, we've changed a few things around here. Google Play is a new redesign. Now this update will get pushed to more devices. The G apps, that'll be updated as well to reflect the new Play Store. So you won't have to actually manually download it. But if you ever need to manually download it, I'll have a link in the description where you can download it and, you know, have it available. So this is pretty freaking sick. Uh, here's the home screen when you first launch the Play Store. You can just keep scrolling. Recommended for you. Albums for $3.99. Reading 2.0 apps. Spring cleaning. Just a lot of stuff in here. So we'll go here to settings. Notify me about updates. Here's something I cannot stress. I just, I cannot stress this enough. You need to have the latest apps. I pick up my dad's phone or, you know, people that don't really know what they're doing too well. They just kind of call and text people. I open up their Play Store and oh my God, they have the older version of the Play Store because they haven't opened it in forever. They have really old apps like Maps, which apps get updated most of the time because there's a huge update like Google Maps, for instance. Google Maps has updates because sometimes like it keeps running even after you leave it and it kills your battery. And that happens with other apps as well. They update apps to fix memory leaks, to fix battery issues, all kinds of stuff. So please, please make sure you have the latest apps installed. I do want my apps to auto update. You can choose, if you're on like T-Mobile or Verizon or some carrier where you can only download like two gigs and then they, like T-Mobile, they, they you can download two gigs on 4G and then you, they drop you to Edge, which is pretty much dial-up on your smartphone. And Verizon, they give you like whatever plan you got and then after you go over that, you got to pay for the extra data. Um, so if, you, if, you're, if you're on a carrier that restricts how much you can download, you might want to do Wi-Fi only. So when you get home or you're at like a coffee shop or whatever, your apps will update and you won't get anything charged. I'm on Sprint and I get 4G LTE here in Kansas City. So I'm going to go ahead and just choose that and my apps will automatically update. And if there's an update to an app that, uh, that, you know, fixes like a memory issue or it's constantly running and killing your battery, uh, I'll have the latest update. So, and I had to continue backup installed. So if the update sucks, I can just restore my backup. And go back to the old app. So it's pretty neat stuff. Auto add widgets, clear search history, <laughs> uh, content filtering, uh, everyone, low maturity, me. So this is cool. I'll be installing this on my daughter's HP touchpad, which has the latest nightly of CM9 on it. And I'll be making sure that, you know, <laughs> she doesn't accidentally install any apps. I do have it set where it needs a pin if she wants to buy an app. Well, actually, you got to put in my Google Play password before you buy an app. So she can't accidentally purchase something and then I get this bill for an app that I'm like, I'm not. <laughs> and then right there, you can clearly see that it's version 4025. Again, this update will get pushed to pretty much all devices in the future. But if you're like me and you always like having the newest, latest stuff right now before you actually are supposed to get it, like Android 4.2.2 on the 
HTC Evil Forge LTE. Uh, quick note, uh, for those of you that care, the HTC One comes out March or this month on the 19th, and I won't be able to buy it until like the 23rd, 24th-ish when I get paid. Then I will be buying the HTC One. So my unboxing might come after the Xenomaxes, after Flossy Carters, and after others. But I will be getting the HTC One, and that's going to be my baby. That's going to be my baby until the Note 3 comes out. And then I'm going to switch back over, back, back over to that. Unless, unless the HTC One has me. You know, like the front-facing speakers, the 1080p front camera. If it's better than the Note 3 as far as like the front speakers and the 1080p front camera, I'll probably stick with the HTC One and still get the Note 3 for rooting videos and etc. So, yeah. Uh, HTC One versus the a SGS4. Front-facing, back-facing, and audio test. Yep, that's coming. Lots and lots of good stuff is coming. So, uh, if you're not already subscribed, please make sure you do so. I I will not let you down. I've got a review of the tripod that I uh, keep getting comments and comments and comments about. And I did it a while ago, and I said I'd do a review, but I haven't done it yet. I'm going to do it, because this is an awesome tripod I'm using right now. Got reviews of ROMs on the Note 2, it's like Jelly Bomb. He's fixing updated update to version 15.3, which is based off the latest update. And I got tons and tons of videos coming, man. So if you're not subscribed, please do so. If you enjoy my videos, please click that like button. It's just a little click and it lets me know that you enjoyed the video. And that's about it. I can't think of too much else. Obviously, like if you want to take a look at my wish list, I will show you that real quick. I got LogMe Ignition, it's a $30 freaking app. I don't really want to pay that much, but I have LogMe in on all my computers, and I use it a lot, so yeah. That's my wish list. That's about all I can show you. Now, uh, quick, quick, uh, before I end this video, on my Note 2, okay, so, <laughs> Shout out to this people. If you're not following my Instagram, please do so. I post pictures on there. Uh, this is the link right there. I actually use Chrome to phone, and I got an app called Clip uh, Clipper. I actually bought the Plus version because it's an awesome app, and you should definitely buy it. I use a program called Ditto Clipboard Manager on my computer, and I was looking for an alternative. I was like, dude, the first thing I do when I get a new computer or I format a computer or something like, or get a new computer is I install Ditto Clipboard Manager for Windows. So I was like, can I get an alternative one that works with uh, Android? And sure enough, there was one called Clipper Plus. And anytime I send text to my phone, uh, Clipper automatically picks it up and I can click on it and it takes you to all my clipboard stuff. So that's the link, that link right there. If you want to type it in, that's fine, it's up to you. That will trigger an instant download of the very latest uh, Google Play Store. So I don't know what's in my clipboard, so I might have to edit this out. No, nope, didn't have to edit anything, I don't think. Now, anytime like I copy something, that notification pops up saying, hey, you copy something in your clipboard. This is all stuff I have pinned. Like, uh, this is like a Wi-Fi password to one of the connections I go to. And I constantly reset my device and install new ROMs. So I just take Titanium backup, I restore my clipper data, and then, bam, I, I've got my old stuff. This is actually, like, how to quickly run a logcat and send it to your thing. So the ones I use the most, I pin it so, like, I can click quickly just tap on it. And now it's in my clipboard, and I can open up, like, terminal, paste that, and... There you go. It's in, it's it's there. So, Clipper Plus, definitely check it out. If you copy and paste stuff on your Android device a lot, you definitely want to check that out. I will be doing more app reviews before I make this video any longer it needs to be, which it already is, because I don't know how to shut up. I will be doing more app reviews. I will be doing more ROM reviews. Uh, my, the Galaxy Nexus is completely dead, so I'm charging it with my new Trend power pack that I did a video on, and yeah, I love this little thing. I want to give a shout out to the winner of the giveaway. He received his, he let me know he received it, so shout out to him, and yeah. Again, one last time, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. It's just a little click, but it lets you know you enjoyed the video. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I have a lot of content coming here very soon, and I think you'll like it. As always, stay high on Android.
This is what would Josh do, and I'm out.